Hey everyone, it's Bob Perkins bringing you another Monday Morning Sales Minute from the Inside Sales Studio. Today, we're here with Ian Moise. Ian, welcome. Okay, good morning or afternoon. Well, it's morning here. I know it's afternoon uh, in the UK. <laughs> it is. Uh, Ian is the European Sales Director for Natterbox. He's, he's been a long time inside sales leader, proponent. He's very active in the AI Speed London chapter. So it's great to have you here. You're going to talk about a kind of a neat topic that has to do with your digital first impression. You know, everyone is pretty much remote today, right? So yep. uh, talk to the viewers about some tips, best practices around this first impression and, and, and what, what we can do to help. Yeah, so I think it's it. we're an interesting time. It's the first time, I guess, where we've all got the same context globally and, and we all know exactly what's going on and the impact. But what it has done is accelerated for the salesperson that your first uh, engagement with a client, often visibly today, is remote over a screen. Uh, you know, you're not meeting customers in person, um, customers or prospects. And that changes the dynamic because the individual, Bob, I'm talking to you, we're about to jump on a call five minutes before it's really easy for you and more likely today, you're going to check me out, right? Who's this Ian I'm going to talk to yeah. and check my profiles. There's more digital handshaking going on than we've ever seen. Right. So, you know, as a salesperson, what I've said to all of my team and anyone that I engage with is you need to think about that and do something about it, right? Just, just polish up, review your profile, think about how you come across because we've always been told in sales, first impressions count, uh, you know, dress up and turn up and, and all this stuff. Well, today it's remote. So mm. think about how's your digital profile look? How's your profile picture on whether it be Hangouts or Team look? Have you got one? Have one. Right. Make sure you've got a professional one on there and, and all your social profiles. Make sure they show you in the best light. Yeah, I, things as simple as if, let's say you're using Zoom like we are, if you go off camera, do you even have a good professional profile picture there? A lot of people don't. Why not? Yeah, uh, I've, I've heard some studies that say when you see a, even seeing a picture of someone raises your oxytocin level, which is a feel good chemical. So video is, I love what you just said. Video is kind of the new handshake, right? Yeah. And, and, and also think about, you know, I'm playing with, and I'll hopefully show you in a second if, if I do something, you know, <laughs> it, it, I need some work. I need a green screen, a better background, yeah. but I'm playing with how, what do I do? And I've just discovered, so I'm still learning, right? How do I use every tool available to me to look the best I can? And I'll give you, give you a couple of quick hacks, of easy things people can yeah. take away, because I think you like that for your audience. You know, if your photo on your social profile, go and check it out at photofeeler.com. How do you decide which hmm. profile picture to use? That's a site where by voting on a few other people, you get free credits, you put your picture in, and people who don't know you, will rate you for authenticity, for trustworthiness, et cetera. Wow. And, I, and my picture today is looking in one direction with glasses because I tested my same picture without glasses. And for me, my face, not necessarily everyone, I'm apparently much more trustworthy and, and, and authoritative with glasses. Who knew? Mm, yeah. So I changed my picture based on the results and tests that I did. What's the name There's of that? Uh, what's the name of that again? Sure, it's photo, P-H-O-T-O, feeler.com. Got it. No, that's great. Great tip. Any other tips before we, uh, you know, kind of conclude here? Sure. Yeah. Make, you know, look at your bio, take a look at my personal profile on LinkedIn. You know, it's not, I, I'm always adjusting, so I'm not saying I'm perfect, but yeah. I learned make your initial bio a bit more personable. So our mm. mind doesn't say I work for it. it says I got into computing at age 14 because <laughs> I'm a human, right? It tells a human story. Yeah you can use little icons on there to make your profile stand out in lists. So if you look at my name in any list that comes up on, on social, it'll stand out because I've got a little tick next to it mm. and put that after your name. Um, and the final quick, quick, easy one, if you really want to go there uh, for a few dollars is I'll tell you how to find my profile and the clues in the name. If you want to go to LinkedIn, ianmoist.co.uk. If you want me on Twitter, ianmoist.cloud. So I've taken away your audience view of having to go onto the profile, put my name in, search for it, and then decide if it's that one or this one. Create your own URL, cost virtually nothing, and then just link it back to wherever you want it to go. Yeah, yeah. Some really good tips there. Again, uh, as the saying goes, only one chance to make a good first impression. So, uh, take this time, viewers out there, to to look at your own LinkedIn profiles, profiles, and other 
uh, social media as well. So Ian, thanks so much. Uh, we hope to You're see welcome. you, uh, uh, the next time we get over to Dublin or over, over to London for a chapter meeting. We hope to see you then again. I'd, I'd look, I look forward to it. Let's hope it's sooner than later with everything going on. You got it. Thanks everyone. Good selling. Bye-bye.